وهي تعتبر الطائره الثالثه من الدول الاوروبيه وطبعا رح يدفعها كمان الطائره لهون مساعدات اغاثيه وطبيه بحدود ال 120 طن مرسله من الاتحاد من جميع الدول الاتحاد الاوروبي هذا دليل انه هن عم يعني يبلشوا يساعدونا شوي وعم يقدروا يبعثونا لدمشق لقلب مطار دمشق ونحن هذا كثير بالنسبه لنا شغله منيحه وبنتشكر كل الدول الاتحاد الاوروبي وكل الشعوب الاوروبيه على ارسالهم وبنرجو منهم انه دائما يزيدوا من اعطائهم حتى نحن بحاجه كثير ونحن شعب متفهم وكل شعبنا وكلنا نحن كلهم بيتشكرون وان شاء الله الايام الجايه بتكون اكثر واكثر مثل ما حكيت هي مساعدات طبيه ومساعدات اغاثيه نعم يعني هي مجموعه منيح مجموعه منيح وضلهم عم يضلهم عم يتبعوا طبعا في منهم الدول بيبعثوهم عن طريق بيروت وفي منهم عم يبعثوهم عن طريق الشام مو ما في انه لا اغاثه ما عليها حزب حطوا طائرات اخرى قادمه ايه اكيد جاي طائرات اخرى قادمه من الاتحاد الاوروبي بس لا تنسي انت انه الاتحاد الاوروبي ودول اوروبيه اللي عم يبعثوا عم يدفعوا انشورنس كثير تامين تأمين على وقت انه تجي الطيارة على المطار عم يدفعوا ثلاث أضعاف أربع أضعاف أجوبة. Good morning. Allow me first of all to express our sincere condolences for the victims of this uh, recent uh, earthquake. The European Union has been supporting the humanitarian operation in Syria since 2012 and we will continue doing so. Since the day after the earthquake, we increase our support to humanitarian partners, particularly the Syrian Arab Recrescence to distribute assistance across the country in the fastest way as possible. As of the 8th of February, we also activated the European Union civil protection mechanism. So 15 European countries have been sending commodities to Syria uh, to help the relief after the earthquake. Today we are uh, welcoming two planes organized by the European Union humanitarian assistance and the International Federation of the <coughs> Red Cross here in uh, uh, Damascus. It's important that this uh, relief reach the people most in need uh, in the fastest way. So we call again for unrestricted access and the safe access for our humanitarian partners. Thank you very much. On behalf of the International Federation Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies, let me first of all express my sincere condolences, my sincere sympathies with the victims of this earthquake. I would like to also thank the international community for their help and their support to our appeal. Foremost, I would like to thank SARC, the Syrian Arab Red Crescent, for their support to the earthquake victims. They have worked tirelessly from the very onset of this emergency with thousands of volunteers and staff deployed to help the victims. Now, finally, today, we are receiving over 100 tons of cargo from the European Union, and we're very, very happy that this comes today because that will allow us to scale up our operations for the earthquake victims. So thanks for that and thanks to you all. Thank you.